Ever pondered the question, what really occurred during the Crusades? Well, you're in for a treat today. The Crusades, a series of religious wars, ignited the Western world from the 11th to the 15th centuries. This tumultuous era marked a significant turning point in global history with cross-cultural exchanges, economic shifts, and religious fervor shaping the course of events. In the heart of the Middle Ages, knights, kings, and commoners alike embarked on a quest to reclaim the Holy Land, yet the Crusades were far more complex than simple battles between Christianity and Islam, they were a tapestry interwoven with countless stories, each more intriguing than the last. Today, we're diving into the lesser-known side of the Crusades, revealing 10 facts that might just surprise you. From the role of women to the economic impact, there's a lot more to these historical episodes than meets the eye. Prepare to venture back to the Middle Ages as we uncover some astonishing facts about the Crusades. Starting off at number 10, we have the People's Crusade. This event, led by an enigmatic figure named Peter the Hermit, was not actually an official crusade. It was more of an impromptu pilgrimage-turned-military expedition comprised mainly of peasants rather than knights. These ordinary folks, driven by religious fervor, set off on a journey that was as chaotic as it was deadly. This tale of the People's Crusade is a grim reminder of how chaotic and lethal these campaigns could be. Oh, fact number 9. The Role of Women in the Crusades Women's contributions during this era were incredibly significant even though they're often overlooked. They provided vital support, from nursing the wounded to supplying armies. But they weren't just on the sidelines. Some women, like the renowned Eleanor of Aquitaine, even participated directly in the battles. These brave women were more than just silent spectators. They were active participants in the Crusades. Indeed, the Crusades were not just a male endeavor. Of fact number eight, the ill-fated Children's Crusade. In the year 1212, a tragic event unfolded. Thousands of children, filled with religious fervor, embarked on a crusade to reclaim Jerusalem. They believed their innocence would ensure victory where adults had failed. Sadly, these young crusaders never reached the Holy Land. Many perished or were sold into slavery, their dreams of glory turned into nightmares of despair. A sorrowful chapter in the history of the crusades, indeed. On to fact number seven, the evolving role of the papacy. As the crusades unfolded, the papacy found itself in a unique position, gaining increased power and authority. The call to arms in the name of faith not only united Christians across Europe, but also solidified the Pope's role as a spiritual and political leader. This period was pivotal, shaping the church's influence over monarchies, politics, and societies far beyond the crusades lifespan. The crusades played a crucial role in shaping the church and its authority. Fact number six, the Crusades weren't just against Muslims. Yep, you heard it right. The Crusades were not limited to the Holy Land or the Muslim world. Take for instance the Albigensian Crusade, launched against the Cathars of southern France. This crusade, instigated by Pope Innocent III, was a brutal campaign against a Christian sect deemed heretical. So the Crusades were not just a series of religious wars against Islam, but also against any group perceived as enemies of the church. The Crusades were more complex and widespread than often portrayed. Fact number five, the economic impact of the Crusades. A less known but significant consequence was the stimulation of trade and commerce in Europe. Crusaders needed supplies for their long journeys and conquests, leading to a surge in demand for goods and materials. This demand fostered the growth of trade routes and markets, playing a vital role in the development of early capitalist economies. The Crusades, for better or worse, help shape the economic landscape of Europe. Fact number four, the Crusades led to cultural exchange. It's intriguing to note that despite the turmoil and strife, the Crusades became a catalyst for an unprecedented exchange of ideas, knowledge, and culture between the East and West. Crusaders returned home, bearing exotic goods, novel culinary tastes, and innovative scientific and philosophical concepts. This cross-cultural interchange not only enriched European culture but also left a lasting legacy on global civilization. In the midst of conflict, there was also a fusion of cultures. Fact number three, the emergence of crusading orders. The Crusades catalyzed the formation of military orders like the Knights Templars and the Knights Hospitallers. These orders, composed of knights who took monastic vows, played pivotal roles in the Crusades. The Templars, known for their distinctive red crosses became famous for their fighting prowess. The Hospitallers, on the other hand, started as a charitable organization 
providing care for sick pilgrims before morphing into a military order. These orders left an indelible mark on the era of the Crusades. Fact number two, the Fourth Crusade and the Sack of Constantinople. The Fourth Crusade, originally intended to reclaim Jerusalem, took a shocking turn. Instead of marching towards the Holy Land, the Crusaders veered off course and laid siege to Constantinople, a prominent Christian city. The city was brutally sacked in 1204, marking a significant deviation from the Crusades' original goal. A twist of events that is often regarded as one of the most shocking moments of the Crusades. And finally, fact number one, the lasting impact of the Crusades. The reverberations of this tumultuous period are far-reaching, shaping both European and Middle Eastern history in profound ways. The Crusades left a legacy of religious tension and cultural exchange that has rippled through time. In Europe, the Crusades played a crucial role in ending the period known as the Dark Ages, ushering in the Renaissance by rekindling interest in classical Greek and Roman knowledge. They also helped to centralize power in the hands of the monarchy and the church, leading to the rise of nation-states. Meanwhile, in the Middle East, the Crusades intensified the divide between the Sunni and Shia sects of Islam, a conflict that persists to this day. They also fostered a lasting mistrust between the Islamic world and the West, a tension that continues to shape international relations. The reverberations of the Crusades can still be felt today, centuries later. And there you have it. 10 Lesser-Known Facts About the Crusades We've traveled through time, unraveling the complex tapestry of events that shaped this intriguing period in history. We've seen the fervor of the People's Crusade, the unexpected role of women, and the tragic tale of the Children's Crusade. We've delved into the influence of the papacy and discovered that the Crusades weren't just against Muslims. We've also explored the economic impacts, the cultural exchanges, and the formation of crusading orders. The Fourth Crusade's sack of Constantinople stands as a stark reminder of the unpredictability of history. Finally, we've contemplated the lasting impact of the Crusades, a legacy that continues to resonate in our world today. These facts remind us that history is a nuanced, multifaceted entity filled with unexpected twists and turns. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the past. Remember, history is not just about the big events, but also the surprising details